Back here on our community, I've got Julie Santor with me. She's the enrichment director, or if you'd like to prefer, the, the rec director. Is that right? Correct. Either for, one. <laughs> all right, for uh, cold water. Tonight, we're going to talk about some of the different activities going on, uh, including uh, new uses for the new building, which will be all ready to go January, right? Correct. Okay. Where that's the plan. All right, well, let's talk about the the early release activities. I know that's going on now. Uh, Coldwater students get out uh, early on Wednesdays. What's going on? Sure, we are providing um, an opportunity for kids to come over and do some recreational activities right now at Heritage Park. We have an art program that's taking place at Heritage Hall, and um, they're having lots of fun doing that. And it makes it real easy for parents to be able to pick their kids up at five o'clock then from us. Um, they're bused right over to us. Well, it's good, safe activities then. Right. And we're doing sports outside, of course, until the weather gets bad. Okay. And then, um, so that's from two to five. Um, and there's a, a small fee that kind of goes with that. Now, yes. is that is that uh, for the whole time period then? It's for eight weeks. Okay. We do eight week segments and it's $50. And, um, and it's for the two to five, really, it's probably three to five time period okay. by the time they get to us. So. Oh, yeah. All right. So that's yeah. the uh, the new ERA early release activities with the uh, city of Coldwater. Let's talk about the Halloween haunted forest. Where's it going to be and what's going to happen? Sure. This is our first attempt at this. Um, <laughs> we're hoping that families come out and enjoy the haunted forest. We're going to run it at Rotary Park. Okay. Um, and it's going to be a guided tour through the woods and we're mm -hmm. going to have spooky things we'll have a less scary version for the smaller kids and then we'll have a spooky version for the older kids well, i'm so. not so sure i would like the less ones <laughs> <laughs> and if don't. you don't know where rotary park is it is on the west edge of cold water and there's a boat launch and everything down there and if you would like to just take a walk it's got a great walking trail and walking road back there so it's really a great asset it is. Here it's Goldwater. really pretty all right, let's talk about some other activities. What else is coming up? Well, for Halloween, we are also running a Halloween kickball tournament. This summer, we ran um, some adult kickball leagues, and they were so popular and so mm -hmm. much fun that we figured that we'd try this one-day tournament and try to get companies and um, teams to come out and form. It's, it's one day. It's on the 25th, and there's also a kids tournament at the same time. So what time does that all start? It starts right away in the morning at 8 o'clock. Okay, and then do we pre-register? Yes. Uh, what do we need to do? Yes, pre-register right at the Recreation Department. Okay, which is now located in the basement of the City Hall. Correct. All right, so that's the Henry L. Brown Building. Okay, so that's happening. And then coming up in January in the new Rec Center, uh, there's a lot of activities both for kids and adults, isn't there? Correct. We um, have all kinds of things planned, um, everything from adult basketball, volleyball. We're going to have adult soccer, um, kids' youth leagues, um, basketball, all different things um, for them to do as well. And again, this is something that I could go online and uh, find out more information about too. Definitely, definitely. And then we also will put out um, a lot of information on our Facebook page. So it's Coldwater um, Recreation. Okay, so you can check out all the information. Julie's got it out there. Julie, so uh, you have been on the job for a little bit now? Yeah, since January. All right, so tell me uh, your experience so far. Obviously, uh, you know, coming into this, uh, probably a few challenges. And now you've got, uh, you know, coming up in January, more facilities. So should make it all really great. How's the job been so sure. far? There has not been a dull moment, I will say. It's been very busy, <laughs> um, which I really like. And there's a lot going on. But I think when everything gets done, the community will have a great two mm -hmm. new brand new facilities so. well and the, the thing is that you're you're trying to take a, a you know kind of focusing on let's say that mm -hmm. and that is uh providing new activities uh enhancing the activities that we've had right. uh, and really getting more people to be active out there right definitely we want a more active community because we know that makes a healthier community mm -hmm. and if they got whole. suggestions or ideas hey let's have this oh, yeah are yeah. you open to ideas yeah, definitely come see me <laughs> she's got yeah. a big old smile on her face she said come see me if you've got an activity or an event she's all about it right right definitely. okay julie santor with us she's the recreation director the enrichment director of the city of coldwater i'm tim hart and you're watching our community